from brooklynnets.com. Hey, Javon, welcome to Brooklyn. Thank you. Um, you know, just curious, this is one of those trades that kind of gets reported a couple weeks ago, becomes official the last couple of days. What, um, you know, how'd you first kind of hear about it? And what was, what was your first uh, reaction about uh, learning you were coming to Brooklyn? Mm, heard about it. Uh, my agent called me like right before it got released and um, told me I was going to Brooklyn. Um, I was pretty excited for the opportunity. You know, um, how can you not to play with the Brooklyn Nets? And uh, it was like, um, just like a, a way for me to like start a new chapter, you know, really, really get after it like I want to, you know, um, hopefully this is a good fit for me and uh, we'll see how it go. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, welcome to uh, Brooklyn. Uh, I'm curious, I mean, you've been known for defense all the way back since WVU days. Um, how much pride do you take in that part of the ball? And has that been kind of what their conversations have been with you about kind of a need to fill more defensive roles on this team? Yeah, that's definitely been a conversation. And um, defense is very personal. Uh, I just feel like that's just a must. You know what I'm saying? It's like... You're gonna have games where you scoring and not scoring, but it's like every night you should have a you shouldn't have a game where you just bad defensively. Like that should just never happen. I just feel like that's that's just a must, and that's just who I am. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Hey Javon, welcome. Um, I'm curious. You're coming from a team that just fell a little bit short, and this is a, a Nets team that that has championship aspirations that they feel are very attainable. I, I know it was a little bit more of an observant experience for you, but what can you take from from that that you think you can apply here as these guys try to uh, rectify what happened with them last year? Um, just the fact that like everything counts. Like the little stuff throughout the year, the extra work you got to put in, and then just everybody being on the same page and really being a unit. And it's like, if one person falls short, then that could that can collapse the whole deal. So it's like, we really just all got to be on the same page in order to get what we want. Thank you. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Javon, welcome to Brooklyn. We were just talking to Bruce Brown and said he's known you a long time since pre-draft. Just outside of him, is there any other guys you have a good relationship with on the team? And, and have you heard from anybody since you've been traded? Uh, good relationship? Um, I'm real cool with uh, Alizé, Alizé Johnson. Uh, I met uh, Nick when I um, went to go work out. And then um, have I heard from anybody? Uh, heard from Coach. And I heard from uh, from KD. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Javon, uh, you said that you take defense very personally. Uh, obviously, you're going to be behind some superstar guards. Uh, do you feel like defense is a way to maximize your playing time with this team? For sure. Uh, I've always felt that way. I felt like defense is my niche. You know, um, defense is the reason I'm in the NBA. So why why stop now? You know what I'm saying? So I, I gotta bring it. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. What's going on, Javon? Uh welcome to Brooklyn. Nice shirt as well. Um just wondering what uh, what in your estimation makes a good defender at the NBA level? What makes a good defender? Mm, well, you gotta have the ability, you know what I'm saying? You you gotta have what you need in order to stop a guy in front of you. And then beyond that, it's really just heart. You know what I'm saying? Just heart and effort. Just having that, having that feel and having that grit of just wanting to stop somebody every single time. Like you're not gonna do it every time, but the more you have that feeling that you're gonna stop them, you wanna stop them, you're doing everything you can to stop them. Like I just feel like you're probably gonna, gonna come out on top more times than not. Bob Windrum, that's daily. Uh, I noticed on your Instagram, um, just after the finals, you said, I didn't play the role I wanted to, but I played my role. Um, what did you mean by that? Mm, basically, like, I didn't play the role I wanted to, meaning I wasn't out there. I wasn't able to help my team on the floor. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't able to be out there helping basketball-wise, but, like, 
mentally off the court, on the side, in the huddles, in practice. You know, I'm, I'm very vocal. I'm a vocal leader. I help I help the team out. Like seeing two guys like headbutting each other, talking to both of them, letting them like showing them both sides of it. And they coming together, being able to go out there and finish the game, just stuff like that. Like stuff that like you probably don't want to hear from a coach. You'd rather hear from a player because you know what I'm saying? You got a, a, a different type of relationship with them. So it's like I'm saying the same thing the coach is saying, just in a different way. And then some guys, some guys take that better, hearing it from their peers than hearing it from a coach. Matt Brooks, Nets Daily. Hey, uh, welcome to Brooklyn. First off, I, I got two for you. First off, what did you learn from the run all the way to the finals? And then second off, what's the skill that you think that you have that is going to surprise people? Uh, like I said earlier about what I learned, just like the small details it take, you know what I'm saying, to win like throughout the season, like every little thing counts. You know, it's some stuff guys like to blow off, like, oh, I'm going I'm to do it in the playoffs, or I'm going to do it then, I'm going to do it then. It's like making the habit of it, doing it every day is what's, what's really going to get you there for real. And um, what was the second part to your question? Uh, just the skill that's going to surprise people the most. Uh, if I tell you, it wouldn't be a surprise. So I'm going uh, to hold off Good on answer. that. Good answer. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to wrap things up. Last question, Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Javon, just looking back through your bio and, and looking back at your college days, you were Academic All-American of the Year for, for basketball. I was curious um, what your focus was academically, what your study and, and interest was. Uh, I um, majored in uh, sports management. You know, I was just one of those guys that was just like, uh, I have to go to school and get an education, so why not be the best that I can be at it? And it led me to be an academic All-American. Did I see that coming? No, not at all. <laughs> but when I did it, I was like, hey, I put the work in, so it was it was possible. I was just focused on basketball. Thanks, Javon. We appreciate your time, man. Problem. Thank you.